Hello, welcome. Regardless of whether we consider Pal World a meme game or not, it's here, and it's a success, reaching a peak of one and a half million daily simultaneous players on Steam alone. I know many would like to play, but they are hindered due to PC performance, or the game's poor optimization. However, I bring you some news. They recently ported a mod to make the game run with FSR 3. Unfortunately, it's still not possible to use the Game Pass version because, at the time of recording this video, the Game Pass version is 1.2, and you need at least version 1.3. I will teach you how to use the mod and show that you can even double the performance using FSR 3 without presenting graphical glitches or delays, so stay until the end of the video. This video is offered by the members and Patreons of the channel. Thank you for your support. The first step that needs to be done is to make the game run on DirectX 12, as it normally operates on DirectX 11. On Steam, this process is easy to accomplish. I don't have the game here because I'm playing on Game Pass, but I demonstrated it in another game. Just go to your library, right-click on the game, and choose the Properties option. In the Launch Options box, type hyphen DX12 as shown on the screen. After that, simply close the window. In the alternate version of the game, you should create a shortcut for the game on your desktop. Then, right-click and go to Properties. Where it says Target, go to the end of the path, leave a space, and then enter the parameter to force DirectX 12. Apply and OK. The second step is to install and activate the mod. You should extract the downloaded files into the game folder, Content, PAL, Binaries, WinGDK. To activate it, navigate to the mods folder, open the palworldupscaler.ini file, and change the mupscaler type parameter to 3 to enable FSR 3. Save the file after making this change. Now when you run your game, you'll be replacing DLSS with FSR 3. All you need to do is choose whether you prefer quality, performance, or automatic in the game's graphics settings. Before showing the performance gain I achieved, if this video is helpful to you, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. Here's a brief comparison of the game running natively, without any upscaler, and on the right, running with FSR 3 with double the frames, using the Epic preset. As you can see, the game runs without any graphical artifacts, both in the HUD and the character's quick movement. There have been reports where the game jumped from 30 FPS to 80, even using integrated graphics. FSR 3 can be applied to any GPU, whether AMD, Nvidia, or even the new Intel ones. I hope now you can enjoy exploring the vast world of PAL world, and until the next video.